even my wife, like she, she's experienced some adversity, man. Like mm. she, her father um, was a failed serial entrepreneur. Oh, yeah. And um, before we found out, you know, they own three apartments in China and everything mm. on the surface yep. looked all hunky dory and dandy. Um, wow. Little did we know that um, you know he's he was doing all these failed business projects mm. that um, he was always one more business project away from cracking it, but they just kept falling down, mm. and he just was digging himself a, a, a deeper and a deeper hole yeah. to the point where the loan sharks kept coming knocking, and um, yeah, um, cut a long story short, he ended up having to flee China. Mm. Um, because otherwise he would have gone to jail and left my wife's uh, mum and she's she's in China, bro. Like fucking she's dedicated her whole life to him and she's lived, um, I don't know if I've t- told you about this before. No. Nah. Nah. No. And she's had this government job, just, you know, worked – Saved, just done a normal the life. Mo- the mother, yeah, yeah, and and he's been taking all these risks, and um, yeah. So now he's he's living in Chicago. Oh wow! And uh, bro, he just got when a, did he move there? Uh about four years ago. Oh, recent. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty recent. And he's got a green card. Green card. He just got a green card, bro. So um, he got granted some sort of asylum. Um, and then, yeah, just like last week, he got he got a green card, which uh, we're quite. Are they still uh, like family still on good terms. Oh, the the mum and uh, the dad they don't speak. Because mm, okay. um, I was thinking maybe you could bring her over. <laughs> don't we, think that's that's what we want to do. But mm. at the moment, because he he fled China so hastily, because mm. he they, he was going to go to jail, bro. So he just got serious. He eh? actually came to Melbourne, so he freaked oh. out. He flew from China to Melbourne, and got to Tullamarine, rang up Sophie, and was like, "Oh yeah, I'm here." And she's like, "What the fuck?" And so she went out to meet him at the airport and said, "No fucking way! You get your ass back on that plane and go back to China." And then he went back to China mm. and then he realized he was just panicking. He was panicking, you know, and then ended up in, in the States. But um, Out of desperation, eh? Little yeah. S- yeah. He, it was either stay in China, face the consequences, go to jail, or try and go to another place and, and live a life mm. there. So now he's, uh, he's over there. He's doing Uber Eats. Oh, um, yeah. yeah, man. He's, um, you know, living – a cheap kind of life and uh, just surviving. Mm. Um, and my my wife's mum is still in China, and they're going through a court case at the moment. To so they lost two of their apartments, two of their three apartments just gone, bro. Like repossessed, all that yep. all that paid paid debt back. There's one last apartment which a lot of her personal money went towards, um, but because it's under um, her father's name and um, her mum's name jointly, um, they have to go through a legal process to sue her father so that they can sell it. So this is how ridiculous it is, bro. Wow. So that's the adversity that uh, my wife has had to kind of go through. She's she's going through that now, huh? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, um, you know, she's had to deal with me, man. <laughs> So I I don't know how she's still standing, man. Like she's just an absolute rock. Yeah. Um, but I'm I'm very blessed to have her in my life. 